Navi. Imagine navigating the bustling streets of two of the world's most iconic cities, New York and London. Each city thrums with its own unique rhythm, a symphony of sounds and sights that create an unforgettable experience. But how often do we stop to consider what lies beneath these vibrant facades? What about the factors that truly shape the lives of those who call these cities home? Factors like crime rates and quality of life? These are the questions we'll be answering today. We're going to peel back the layers and take a closer look at these two metropolises. Our journey will take us beyond the glittering skylines and into the heart of the cities. We'll dive into the numbers, the statistics that paint a more detailed picture of what life is like in New York and London. So buckle up because today we delve into a tale of two cities, exploring aspects that many don't consider, crime rates, public safety, and how these factors influence the quality of life in New York and London. Recent statistics have raised concerns about New York City's safety. Despite a significant decline in population, the city continues to be a beacon of resilience. And here's a savvy fact for you. The Economist still ranks it among the top 15 safest cities worldwide. In February of 2024, a remarkable reduction in major crimes was reported across the Big Apple. Shootings decreased by nearly 16%, and murders saw a drop of over 22% compared to the previous year. New York's finest, the NYPD, have been working tirelessly to ensure the safety of city dwellers and tourists alike. They've made significant strides, particularly in the subway system where crime rates have dipped by over 15% in February alone. Yet the city that never sleeps continues to face its unique set of challenges. But let's not forget about our friends across the pond. London, known for its iconic landmarks and rich history, tells a different tale. Despite grappling with the aftermath of Brexit and economic shifts, it maintains a relatively high standard of public safety. Yet here's a surprising twist. When it comes to violent crime rates per capita, London surpasses New York, recording a higher rate of violent crime per 1,000 people. London's Metropolitan Police Service, affectionately known as the Met, has been tackling these challenges head on, working relentlessly to ensure the safety of Londoners. Their efforts have led to some significant strides in crime reduction, but like New York, London, too, faces its own set of challenges. Both cities, each with their unique charm and vibrancy, have been working tirelessly to tackle crime and ensure the safety of their residents. However, the crime rates and their impact on public safety vary, painting a complex picture of these two iconic cities. New York, with its skyscrapers and yellow cabs, remains a symbol of resilience and strength, persistently working to improve its safety standards. London, with its historic charm and red double-decker buses, continues to grapple with its crime rates, striving to ensure the safety of its residents and visitors. But remember, the tale of these two cities is far from over. Their stories continue to evolve, shaped by the efforts of their respective law enforcement agencies, the resilience of their citizens, and the changing global landscape. However, when it comes to violent crime rates per capita, London surprisingly exceeds New York, with a higher rate of violent crime per 1,000 people. It's a sobering reminder that safety is a complex issue, one that requires our constant attention and understanding. So whether you're enjoying a hot dog in Central Park or sipping tea by the Thames, remember to stay savvy, stay safe, and appreciate the incredible cities that surround us. Quality of life is more than just crime rates. It's the rhythm of the city, the hum of daily life, the feeling of belonging. It's influenced by factors such as cleanliness, the quality of public spaces, and the sense of security among residents. So, let's dive into these aspects in both New York and London. In the heart of the Big Apple, New Yorkers have voiced concerns over cleanliness and public spaces. Despite being known for its iconic parks and vibrant streets, recent years have seen a surge in complaints regarding littering and maintenance. The issue of homelessness has also come under the spotlight, with an estimated 60,000 people without a permanent residence. This has inevitably impacted the overall ambiance of the city and the sense of security among its residents. On the other hand, London has managed to maintain a high standard when it comes to cleanliness in public spaces. Londoners enjoy their city's green parks, clean streets, and the sense of security they provide. The city's approach to homelessness is also markedly different, with numerous initiatives aimed at providing support and housing for those in need. Consequently, London often ranks high in global quality of life surveys. In terms of public transportation, there's a noticeable difference as well. New York's subway system, while extensive and iconic, 
has been criticized for its cleanliness and safety. Meanwhile, London's underground, affectionately known as the Tube, is praised for its efficiency and cleanliness, offering a more pleasant commute for its passengers. Education is another vital factor influencing quality of life. Both cities boast world-class universities and schools, but there are differences in educational attainment. In New York, around 45% of residents have a bachelor's degree or higher, whereas in London, this figure is slightly higher at around 50%. Healthcare, too, impacts the quality of life. Both cities offer top-notch medical facilities, but access to healthcare can vary. New York has a mix of public and private healthcare, while London, under the UK's National Health Service, provides free healthcare at the point of delivery. Above all, the sense of community and cultural vibrancy in both cities is undeniable. New York, with its melting pot of cultures, and London, with its rich history and diverse population, both offer a unique sense of belonging to their residents. While both New York and London offer unique attractions and vibrant cultures, their approaches to handling crime and maintaining public spaces have led to different outcomes in terms of quality of life. The tale of these two cities continues to unfold, shaped by the choices they make and the experiences they offer their residents. So whether you're a New Yorker, a Londoner, or a savvy traveler exploring these cities, remember that the quality of life extends far beyond the surface. It's about the feel of the city, the rhythm of its streets, and the sense of security and belonging it provides. And in that, both New York and London have their own unique stories to tell. As we continue to navigate post-pandemic realities, the choices made by these cities will shape their futures and the well-being of their citizens. Both New York and London are at a crossroads, and their decisions today will echo into the years to come. In New York, the city's resilience is being tested. The Big Apple's savvy leaders must continue their efforts to decrease crime and improve public safety. The city's rebound will not be immediate, but with strategic planning and action, New York can reclaim its reputation as a safe, vibrant metropolis. Meanwhile, London must address its high violent crime rate per capita. The city's leaders have a responsibility to ensure the safety of their residents and visitors. By implementing effective policies and leveraging technology, London can become a city where everyone feels secure. But the future is not only about crime rates and safety. Quality of life plays a pivotal role in a city's success. Both cities need to invest in maintaining and enhancing their public spaces, providing more affordable housing and addressing issues like homelessness. These steps can improve the daily experiences of their citizens, making the cities not just safer, but also more livable. However, these challenges also present opportunities. By embracing innovative solutions and learning from each other, New York and London can set new standards for urban living. They can become models for other cities around the world showcasing how to balance safety, quality of life, and cultural vibrancy. Ultimately, the future of these cities lies in the hands of their leaders and their citizens. With the right choices, New York and London can continue to be cities that captivate the world, filled with opportunities and rich in experiences. So whether you're walking the streets of Manhattan or exploring the historical lanes of London, knowing the broader context can enrich your experience and appreciation of these magnificent cities. And remember, every savvy traveler knows that understanding a city's past and present can unveil its future. Thank you for watching until the end. Your support means the world to us. If you've enjoyed this journey through the tales of two iconic cities, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with your fellow city explorers. It's savvy adventurers like you who make this all worthwhile. If you're planning your own adventure, be sure to check out the links in our description for savvy travel gear that will keep you safe and prepared for your journey. And if you're really enjoying our content, feel free to buy us a coffee. You'll find a QR code on the screen, as well as a link in the description below. We are so grateful for your love and support of the channel. Let us know about the savvy adventures that you've taken or plan to take in the comments below. Until next time, stay savvy and safe out there.